must be an interesting moment for you vis-a-vis -vis, um, what's happened to food media just in general when it comes to, I mean, the internet has changed everything. Yes. And, and I was wondering about when you think about what you do, um, do you have to think about it in a different context? You know, before it was like, okay, I'm gonna do a book or I'm gonna do a TV show or I'm gonna do this. And now, you know, we're at this weird moment, uh, you know, last night at the Beard Awards, uh, you know, like people were tweeting when I was talking to somebody, they would take a picture and that would become a form of media. And so it's basically a 24 seven media world. And I was wondering how, when you think about what you do, like, do you think about it differently as a result? Yes, I think about it differently. Um, it used to be that the act of creation and the act of consumption were separated. <laughs> now, it's like what you're talking about at the, at the awards of people tweeting and actually becoming part of the event. Imagine reading a book where a picture of you reading the book was in the book. <laughs> That's kind of where we are. Um, or in, in, and so everything's folded in on itself in a way that um, changes everything. You know, it's funny, you use words like TV show and book, both of which seem like charming anachronisms to me now. You know, people ask me, are you doing a new show? And I'm like, I don't even know if that's the right word anymore. I, I don't, as someone who's lived exclusively in media and was in media long before I was in, in food, in, as were right. you in, in your own way, I'm, I'm sitting back not so much right now watching what's going on in food, but what is going on in media to try to decide what it even is anymore. Because we are at um, a, a tipping point of communication and uh, deciding what the next forms are going to be um, or what is valid. You know, I may, I may turn around and grab a film camera and go back out and shoot 16 millimeter film of something just to, to, to back away and, and live in the analog age a little bit longer. Or I might turn around and never write another book on paper again. I, you know, I don't know right now. Yeah, it's funny. We talked about that very briefly on the phone uh, in relation to books because you have, there's a huge community out there of, of people who know and appreciate your work. Well, so a small that, but thriving community. <laughs> but it changes the equation in terms of what a traditional book publisher is supposed to do. Yeah. So all of us, you know, we talk about it here because, you know, we did the Serious Seats book mm -hmm. for a conventional publisher and when we think about the future, we have, there's no shortage of ideas for book-like things. Book-like things. But book-like things. BLTs, baby, <laughs> right. BLTs. They're book We're having into BLTs right now, book-like things. <laughs> but but book-like things will not, may not look like books. Or if they do, I mean, as I look around here, I'm showing my age because I'm made more comfortable by the presence of these devices. <clears throat> Books, you and I are both of an age where one, if, if one has ideas that are validated by society, you have these. You know, The whole point of books at one point was going to be that, well, if a publisher thought you were good enough, they published your work and that gave you the validity and everybody followed that validity. Well, did, Random House has published this book. He's an author. He's good. Now it's like <laughs> Random House is waiting to see whether the digital version goes viral before they even print any of the damn things. So <clears throat> I, I think that what we may end up seeing is I can I mean I can easily imagine a time where we, we go back to simply allowing people to somehow print their own their their own. You want my book here? Do this and you can print it yourself. There you got the book. I I, I think that books will will be with us always. The five hundred pound gorillas in the room were Viacom, right? Scripts. Uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, News Corp. Sure. Now the 500, and they're they're thousand pound gorillas. Thousand pound gorillas. Are are Google, Facebook, Apple, Facebook. Yeah. They're all technology companies. They're not they're not content it's, companies. It's 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 fascinating, <clears throat> and it's up to us as people who create things to figure out how we fit into their universe, you know, and how. You know, 
it's a, it's a, it's a. It's I don't know that I want to fit into their universe. I want to make them fit in my universe. Right. <laughs> Which I'm not. I just haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. I mean, there's so many different ways of doing it. So when you think about, um, and 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 does the internet sort of make you think differently about video as well? <sighs> That's probably the thing that plagues me the most. Um, is that my connection to everything and, and food at least it, well everything has, has been based on the fact that I was a filmmaker first and so I'm always thinking I think in terms of shots I think in terms of sequence I think in terms of visual things um, and the internet makes that it's funny even using the word internet sounds old for, it's for true reason. the internet the world wide web right. you remember that yeah um, is is a confounding place because of course it minimalizes and demeans almost everything at the same time. Um, certainly, um, if you're if you're working in, in moving images, um, it, it's a it's a, a strange and scary place because coming up with with ways of making it um, vital and high quality and useful is difficult, and technology changes relatively quickly. Um, and I'm not, I'm not sure. I, honestly, I could see myself pulling back, grabbing my 16 millimeter, making a documentary, and just going on the, the film uh, festival uh, circuit and, and, and pulling away from, from the internet for a while till that gosh darn thing settles down. Right. Besides, Prince said it was over. Right. Remember a couple years ago, Prince said the internet was dead, and I kept, I kept thinking, well, Prince would know. Right. Oh, it hasn't come out yet. It hasn't, <laughs> hasn't hit bottom.